Hey, can I get some info on those Nazi groups that are going to be in Madison? Those Nazi groups that are going to be in Madison? Like, what are the... What's some info on those? Well, there's the... Um, they're under an alliance called the Wisconsin Patriots, but one of the leading groups is the Three Percenters. Three Percenters? Are they yeah. Nazi group? They're like they're not necessarily clearly like Nazi, but they're definitely vigilantes, and they're the ones who are a vigilante terrorist group on the border. Or like a white, uh, a white nationalist, uh, yeah, white like supremacist group. And they Three Percenters? Work, they actually work with, they actually go and they actually arrest uh, immigrants and migrants on the border. Just arbitrarily just like round them up, just sort of hand them over to the border patrol sometimes. They sometimes initiate violence, and who knows what else. But they are a vigilante terrorist group that is uh, running wild out in the West, and they're growing across the country. And part of what it, the reason for on Saturday is there's other white right groups working with them. And they want to try to consolidate their forces in Wisconsin. I heard, a, I heard about one of them. They called the Free Men Report. Yeah. I feel like he's being, in, he's being told what's up. Oh my goodness. I would just love to meet one know. activist who could defend anything. You gotta do more than Come on, we were having a good conversation. We were we were illuminating the issue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. To like resist money and stuff like that. This is why, you know, poor working class folks really need to be They won't let me they won't let him talk to me. Do you see how this is a wall? You're building a wall between me and a conversation. <laughs> because you love walls, don't you? No, no, I'm, I, I think a border's necessary, not a wall. So there's nuance to it, you know? I think a border might be necessary for a country to survive, but I think the wall is, is wasteful. That, that's where I stand on it. So, but this is, this is a wall right here, dude. This is a wall right here. <laughs> no, it's just funny, dude. It's ironic, don't you think? I mean, you're offended. I mean, okay, here. Oh, we ain't got no snowflakes yet. Look, nothing. Okay, one last Got all my, uh, my, my, uh, USSR gloves on, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're inside the here today. And uh, part of this border wall struggle is for the Trump administration to try to enact decrees to eviscerate social safety nets and social safety nets that have been in existence for 80 years, as we've seen here in Wisconsin. Over 80 years of struggle in the last eight years has gone, and we have lost a lot of those kinds of struggles we won in the 30s and 60s and the concessions from the bosses in Wall Street. We're here today and we're going to fight. We're going to fight the racist. We're not going to stand down to racist scum. We're going to smash them. We're going to crush them. And we're going to fight no matter what. And we're in solidarity. In fact, we're in solidarity with this park right here, Dontre Hamilton Park. Yeah! And we're in solidarity with indigenous people. This is indigenous land. The land in the west, so-called west, is Mexican land. The land in the so-called west is Navajo land. Indigenous native people's land. And we're in solidarity with them. We are in solidarity. We are in opposition to colonialism of any kind. We say smash borders. There are no borders in a workers' struggle. That's part of the problem that we're finding in this country today is we got to smash chauvinism. Whether it's a worker in Africa, whether it's a worker in Mexico, or right here in Milwaukee, we're all workers and oppressed people. We need to start fighting together in unity and solidarity and cross the process. So this is wonderful to see the Young People's Resistance Committee to keeping the class struggle alive here in Milwaukee. This is exactly what we need. We need to crush these capitalist pigs once and for all and to build real solutions, socialism. And we want to invite you all out here Saturday in Madison at 11 a.m. A bunch of fascist, racist, brown coats, brown shirts, have called a so-called recruitment rally at the state capitol steps. Are we going to allow a bunch of fascists to run around Madison? No! Hello! So we have a united front and you're all welcome to join, endorse, come out, please spread the word. We have hundreds of people who are going to come out in Madison on Saturday at 11 a.m. at State Street and crush these racist fascists and tell them we will not stand for your violence. We will not stand for your hate. We will not stand for your racism. And we say poverty is violence. 
We got into a little debate today with some folks, right? Trying to give us the violence line. Well, our line is from Malcolm X. Capitalism is violence. Poverty is violence. The border wall is violence. These racist atrocities against our kids dying on the border for profit are violence. And we will fight to the death to have a new world. A better world than death. Smash capitalism. Build socialism. Solidarity with YPRC and Milwaukee Coalition against Trump. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep moving. Let's build a better world, sisters and brothers, and those who don't identify as sisters and brothers. <laughs> Oh, you heard the man? Get all the points there. Yeah. That was great. All right. <laughs>